For nearly 100 years, the CNO Canal was a lifeline for communities along the Potomac River. Coal, lumber, and agricultural products were transported along this waterway on its way to market upon log boats pulled along the canal by mules. Unfortunately, the arrival of the Baltimore and Ohio Railway made the canal obsolete even before the canal was complete. Today, the nearly 185-mile waterway and towpath serves another purpose for hikers, bikers, campers to find adventure along its nearly level path. Now part of the National Park Service, the CNO Canal is an amazing pathway to history. Come check it out. Look at that. It's like a archaeological find right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's an actual payphone. Does it work? I think it does. I think you just have to put money on it. In it. Local calls, coins. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen another one of those. <laughs> Goosers. This is the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal National Historic Park. We are, what town are we near? Potomac, Potomac, Maryland, near DC. With the family. Ooh, look, there's a canal boat. It was a hot <laughs> mid-June afternoon in Maryland as Cheyenne and I joined my parents for a short exploration of Great Falls on the Maryland side here in the CNO National Historic Park. I've hiked and biked many miles on the CNO towpath in sections near my parents' home and around the Harpers Ferry area, but I've never been to this part of it. I'd also never heard of Great Falls. After the photos I'd seen, I was eager to see them for myself. Welcome to Great Falls. Okay, be back. And this here is the visitor center. Here's one of the locks. Ooh, there's a museum. Uh, of course, I'm going in there. Howdy. How are you today? All right. <laughs> How was your trip? Thank you. Hmm, how the locks work. Great Falls Tavern, originally a lock tender's home, now serves as the park's visitor center. Early in its history, the tavern was expanded to include an inn where patrons enjoyed home-cooked meals and dancing. It was a popular destination for those wanting to escape from the bustle of the city, and guests could reserve bunks at the inn for 25 cents a night. It is now one of the most popular spots on the canal for those wishing to come and see the Great Falls. Casino Canal designed a finely coordinated hydraulic system to maintain two to three mile an hour current. How oh, cool, look at that. Old video of how they pulled the boats along the canal.
Inside the old tavern, there are small exhibits and videos to tell the story of the CNO Canal, its construction, and history. There are park maps and pamphlets available as well. It really wasn't like a gift shop, as there were no souvenirs available for purchase, but it was a cool little step back into history. Activity book. <laughs> hmm. Okay, be back. So this is one of the locks. We would, uh, Change the water level. In order for those river boats, which there's one down there, which we'll go see in here in just a second. The rise and change the water levels Whoops, I did. in order for those boats to pass. And we're going to go check the one of those boats out. And I believe that's the Potomac River. Cool. So coming up on one of those river boats. I guess this is an original. Doesn't look like you can get on it. Looks like they're doing some restoration work. No trespassing. <laughs> These reproduction canal boats are typically available for ranger led programs. These boats are mule drawn here at Great Falls, just as they were during the CNO's heyday. However, at the time of our visit, the canal boats hadn't yet resumed their ride schedule for the season. So they would just pull these things along with mules, I guess. Mules, horses. Pretty nifty. Be back. I'm heading toward the lower locks. Of course, these bridges weren't here at the time. We used or in use. Big wooden doors so they would use to close them. So these look, do not look like the original doors. This wood is far too new. Looks like the canal area is really filled in a lot. It's sediment. Pretty cool, man.
Wow, this is like the biggest sequence of locks that I've seen. Especially on other areas of this canal. There's another lock over there. Coming up on the Great Falls Overlook. Wow. Holy crap. That's quite impressive, dude. This boardwalk takes you through a sensitive vegetation area and also takes you past a series of waterfalls on the way to Great Falls at the end. The stunning beauty here was completely unexpected and I was taken by just how gorgeous this place was turning out to be. Fragile ecosystem over here. This boardwalk takes you through it. <laughs> the amazing boardwalk is approximately a half mile through some beautiful trees and foliage some of which are endangered. Therefore, you're not permitted to venture off the walkway. The scenery was stunning though, and I couldn't believe something so beautiful existed so close to DC. Yeah. 
I don't remember this being here before. They had the new look. Quite cool. Check out the tree. This one right here. This is not an ash tree. See how scary it is right there? Another falls right here. Whoa! That moves. Don't lean on the railing. <laughs> Railings move. Awesome. Yes, another waterfall, and as beautiful as this waterfall was, we still hadn't arrived at Great Falls itself. My anticipation level was intensifying as I walked closer, as I wondered just how stunning Great Falls must be. The first one was the Great Falls, but now this is obviously the, yeah. this is pretty great. Look at the size of this thing. I was completely stunned by this sight. Great Falls was far more vast than the pictures I saw. The pictures didn't come close to doing justice to how amazing this place was. I also know these videos are not going to fully reveal the beauty of these falls. Great Falls must be experienced firsthand. I cannot recommend this place enough. Again, we are within 20 miles of Washington, D.C. I was close to speechless. Yeah, you would never think that something this big and awesome is within what, are we within 20 miles of D.C.? Uh -huh. You'd never, never think of something this massive and this uh, amazing river. Yeah. Yeah. exists. Did you, did you read about how it carved the rock? Yeah. The ice age? I mean, I saw the pictures, but as usual, pictures don't do it justice. This but is... You gotta have the sound. Yeah. This is huge. And I still want to climb down there. That dude climbed down there. Yeah. Are you not climbing out? Yeah, out. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, he's probably moving up to where he can actually. Yeah. yeah. And that's Virginia over there. <laughs> so this river splits this park in two. Yeah. You got the Virginia half, we're on the Maryland side. <laughs> that's, that's just amazingly awesome. I don't know, I think we get a better view of it from this side. <laughs> I don't know, I've never been to that side, but yeah, there's another other side of that rock. Okay. Back side of the Great Falls Tavern. Now visitor center.
cool little park. There's a whole lot more to it than just that waterfall. But that's all we came here to do. You see that waterfall heading back to the car. And quite a cool park. Of course, you could ride the CNO towpath, it is now a bike trail. Well, walking slash bike trail. And you can go all the way to Cumberland, Maryland. It's 150 something miles, maybe. Someday, I want to do that. So, uh, yep, this will be a little video. Just wanted to show you the waterfall. Be back and keep your stick on the ice. My family experienced many great adventures while vacationing in Maryland this year. Our trip to Great Falls was the pinnacle of the two weeks we spent with my parents. These were times I'll never forget. I only wish my son and other children could have joined along in the fun. So from our family to yours, we wish you health and happiness, and we'll see you all out on the trail.